Hey everybody, I'm Matt Goldsman, and we are playing Sonic CD on the PC. Um, now, little thing about this game, this isn't the original game. Um, this is a rework of the game that was done in 2011. It was rebuilt from scratch, believe it or not. And now we are playing this version. Okay, we're gonna turn that down just a bit so you guys can hear me. And I'll leave, eh, I'll leave sound effects one bump higher. Um, but what's cool about this version is you can pick between the US or the Japanese soundtrack. I really like the Japanese soundtrack much, much better. Um, unfortunately, that means you guys aren't going to hear Sonic Boom, because that's where this that song came from. But really, I don't like that song. Um, but without further ado, I'm not going to talk the opening cutscene, because it's really freaking badass. I'm just, that's just a file I started somewhere else. But let's go! And in my opinion, that's pretty much the most badass cutscene we'll see out of Sonic for a while. Um, this game was released between Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 for the Sega CD, like I said. So, it, it's, it's in between the two. But it was still revolutionary for its time and a favorite amongst fans. Which is odd, because it's also one of the least, fa the least played Sonic games. Which is, um, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. So maybe all those fans are just hipsters. They're just like, oh, it's our favorite because we've played all the good ones. And instead of the spin dash, we well, we also ha we have the spin dash, like always, but we also have this shenanigans, where I don't really like it because you're just exposed the whole time. And we have time travel! Yes, time travel. If you can sustain your speed while you're glowing, you will have time travel and unlock a different version of the same level you've been playing, which is freaking awesome in my opinion. Um, other things about this game. That opening cutscene, personally, I think that's one of the most badass cutscenes we can see out of Sonic. Um, or that we do see out of him for quite some time. That's just my, uh, oh, you dick. But that's just my opinion. Ha! Oh, man. I was nowhere near the 50 rings to get to the special stage. I really want to show you guys that special stage, though, because it's pretty awesome. That special stage is pretty much the shiz. Um... But yeah, that opening cutscene, ordinarily, um, for the US version of this game at least, um, it played um, Sonic Boom, and that was the first time we all heard Sonic Boom. For me, I feel like it doesn't fit, because that song is kind of not badass at all. No offense, Sonic Boom fans, but in my opinion, Sonic Boom is really not badass at all of a song to be playing while Sonic has this ridiculously early 90s badass cutscene. So, I'm sorry, but I really like the Japanese soundtrack. A lot, 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 lot better. Like, for me, it isn't even a contest. Ah like I said, you can also go to the... Ah, oh, I missed it. 
Yeah, if your momentum gets killed in this game, then you are not going time traveling at all. I thought I had it though. At least still didn't get the bonus stage. Off by eight rings that time. That's a bummer. Um Yeah, uh, uh opening cutscene is the shit. There's another one for the ending. Truth be told, I never beat this game. I got up to Metal Sonic and I couldn't beat him because he was too hard. Um I'm hoping to change that here. I really am. Oh god. I actually um double dipped in this game. Like like I said, it was a rework of the um original game. So this cop version was made in 2011. But um whatchamacallit. I oh god, I hated this boss. Once you get one hit though, he becomes incredibly easy. You just have to see. He just blocks all your attacks like that, then he'll backstep, then he'll pretend to charge. And then once he does that, then he's just basically fucked. Here it comes. Now he's just dead. Yep, like I said, easy egg, man. But yeah, I never beat Metal Sonic, because that stage is really... Ah, oh, missed it. That stage is really ridiculously difficult, in my opinion. So, I never beat it, but I'm probably going to have a lot of cuts, and I'll probably... I'm just going to keep going until I beat it. Straight up. Um, because it can't, it isn't impossible. It ha like, it obviously it isn't impossible. It's just very hard, in my opinion. Oh, and this is the first time we see Amy in this game. Look. Most people don't even realize she's a Genesis character, but she is. And this is Metal Sonic's first appearance as well. So, yep, yeah, that's the plot of this game. Save Amy. And somehow it was the only time we ever saw that plot. Um. Oh god, we're going to the future! Now it's interesting about the future in this game is there's two futures. There's um the one where Eggman has everything destroyed, which I'm pretty sure is this one. Or if you collect all the time stones, aka Chaos Emeralds. Which, well they're not the Chaos Emeralds, but they basically are. Um then you get a different future where everything's happy because Sonic saved the day. Um, and controls time, as we know it, a la Sonic Generations plot. <laughs> um, but, ultimately, this game is awesome. Um, and Sega says that this game, Sega says that this game is apparently the prequel to um, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, which is cool. And they released this game on Steam the same day they released Sonic 4 Episode 1 and the Sonic Generations DLC, which makes me very hopeful in thinking that we might be able to get some, um, whatchamacallit, DLC, um, I mean Sonic 4 Episode 2 on Steam. I would absolutely love that personally. Alright, this is, this has got to stop. Wow. Oh my goodness. Sonic's just like, what the fuck is going on? And we still didn't get it. We're off by 10 rings. That's a bummer. But yeah, I really like the Japanese soundtrack a lot more. I really want to show you a bonus stage, but it doesn't look like we're getting one, sadly enough. Um, what's cool is, I'm, from the what the PC settings said, um, the PC version of settings, Suggest that this game was coded for 1080p, which is nice because, I mean, it looks really nice. And there's lots of settings for, like, video filters and stuff, for, like, nostalgic filter, original filter. You can get lots of stuff go- Oh, you little piece of crap. What? Did I get a ring? <laughs> Please tell me I got a ring before I fell to my death. All right, we're good. Oh! Classic traps. I'm pretty sure this is the level that I hated the boss for. And if I remember right, it isn't really a boss, it's just a pinball of death. That's terrible. To be honest though, I don't really know what I'm gonna release this LP. Because I already said I was going to do Morrowind next, but you know what? This would probably be a simpler project to do. But as far as simple projects do, I already said I was going to do, um, Mario 3, so... 
Um. Yeah. Oh well, you guys, you guys can wait. Morrowind's gonna last forever. By the time Morrowind comes out, everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, I don't even want to see this." Wow. Never found that before. Oh, and Sonic apparently has voice acting in the Japanese version. When he gets a free life. He goes, "Yes." Oh well. But yeah, I'm really pumped up. Um, good year for PC gaming potentially from Sega, because if they release Sonic 4 Episode 2 on here, I'll be so happy. Because then I won't have to whip out an Xbox. Well, I'll using my Xbox controller right now, but I won't have to whip out, um, put points on accounts and stuff. I can just use my credit card. So much simpler. Oh, crap. Eggman. Let's kill this guy. Oh, no, this is the... This is pinball, isn't it? Yep, this... I hate this level. I gotta get the ball through this little hole in the top. No, that is wasn't supposed to be a innuendo. There we go. And then I just gotta get up a bit higher. Oh no. Ooh. No, come on. Oh wow, I did that really quickly. I'm happy. Oh man, almost under a minute. I remember there were times I'd be stuck in that for like 10 minutes. Ugh. Good show though. That, was, that wasn't bad at all. That was not bad at all. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Um, we'll do Tidal Tempest next time. And until next time, I'm Matt Golson from Gamers Cast, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Sonic CD.